Um, you know, we have, we have for a long time tried to get more and more diversified in terms of our major economic driver in this region. But the oil and gas industry continues to be, in my opinion, the underlying economic driver. And a lot of services, you know, kind of ebb and flow with the oil and gas industry. I think anybody that's in the car business or the real estate business, restaurant business, convenience stores, all see that their bottom line moves up and down with the oil and gas industry. Um, right now, it is, you know, primarily being driven by commodity price. But there are some issues out there in the federal government that could really, you know, reduce the likelihood that our our domestic energy policy comes back anytime soon. Particularly for Northwest Louisiana, we need to really come up with a. Uh, significant dom domestic energy policy that encourages natural gas usage. Uh, it's a clean burning fuel. It is a step in the right direction. It is economic. Um, it's not a, you know, 50 year away type of a source of renewable energy. Uh, more and more the large diesel trucks are transitioning to natural gas and I think that's a great opportunity for this industry. I mean for this region. And then secondly, uh, I-69. I-69 continues to be, in my opinion, the greatest near-term opportunity for this region. There's not a city in America with three interstates with less than a million people. Um, I don't know if that's a chicken or the egg type of scenario, but I can assure you that getting I-69 through this district would be a huge boon to our local economy. What are the type of industries that come with I-69, well, a lot of the logistics, e-commerce, Amazon, Zappos. The good thing about those type of industries, and you know, I'm sure there are some in this room that know that we've continuously been entertaining groups that are interested in moving here with those type of uh, backgrounds. Why? Because it's a cheap place to build large warehousing facilities. And we have a, you know, a workforce that is ideally suited, ready to take on those jobs. So. I think that's a great opportunity and a near-term opportunity for this district. Hey, by the way, I should add, uh, I think nine parishes would be directly impacted by I-69. So it isn't only a shreveport Bossier thing, but it really serves a broad breadth of this uh, fourth congressional district.